Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. See, this is what I mean. I'm so used to filming vlogs that I just intro my video saying that it's going to be a vlog. But this actually is not going to be a vlog. This is going to be my night routine. I am going to be filming it vlog style for you guys. But this year I told myself that I want to branch out and film you know, a variety of different videos and not just vlogs all the time. Definitely want to do either a bag collection video next or a what's in my bag video. So let me know down below which you guys would prefer. But yeah, I thought I'd just do a night routine for you guys today because for me personally, morning and night routines are very, very important. I do think that my morning and night routine is super realistic. I mean, I'm never going to sit there and be the type of person that says I drink, you know, a lemon water in the morning or I don't go on my phone for an hour before I go to bed because both those things are false and I'm sure I mean honestly when I watch other people's morning or night routines and they do those things I'm like do you actually do that and I'm sure 20% of the people in the world do those things but sometimes I feel like people just do it in their videos or in these kinds of videos because they feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing or it'll make their video more interesting yeah basically what I'm trying to say is that this video is going to be super realistic and actually what I do like to do in the afternoon help myself wind down and the first thing that I always like to do as soon as I'm finished my work and finished everything that I need to do for the day is clean. I do like to start every single morning with cleaning well after I train and I like to finish off the night with some more cleaning as well. I really do take pride in having a clean space. I do think that it really just helps you know clear my brain and just makes me a lot more productive when i'm clean so i like to keep my space very clean but in saying that tomorrow is friday and fridays are my deep clean days where i wash my sheets and all that kind of thing so all i'm really doing this afternoon is putting things away is Remy as well. She gave me a little thank you gift for getting the kids stuff for Easter. This pack of nail files. But aren't they the cutest things ever? How adorable is that? And it comes in a little box as well. I keep this whole thing in my car and just have nail files whenever I need it. Yeah, I love that. So nice of her. Once I've put things away and cleaned, no deep cleaning kind of happens in the afternoon unless I didn't have time to do it in the morning. But now what I like to do is I like to sit down and just quickly double check my Trello, which if you guys don't use Trello, it's basically just a software. I think mostly people in office jobs would use this. Um, it's kind of just like a workspace thing where you can add collaborators. And for example, my collaborator is my manager and we kind of just talk on this and she puts in all of my locked in contracts completed contracts, catch up notes, because we do like to have catch up calls monthly. So she'll always put together notes from each meeting that we have. Yeah, anyways, I just check that and I make sure that I've, you know, responded to everything for the day. And then I also just like to make sure that I've done everything on my to-do to -do list, to-do list for the day. And I like to just do that on my notes app. Basically just have Monday through to Saturday all in different subheadings and then under that i'll have dot points of everything that i need to get done that day i'm also not one of those people that writes every single little thing that i'm doing that day it's more so just the big things that i need to remember perhaps if i'm doing content that day i'll write down what content i want to get what things i need to get photos in or what tiktok content i want to do that day any appointments that i have or maybe any dinner reservations lunch reservations things like that things that i actually don't want to forget and also in the afternoon I like to kind of write everything down for the next day Afternoons are also a time where I like to go through and open my packages unless I'm saving those packages. Also, excuse my laundry, just drying in the back. Unless I'm saving those packages for a TikTok or 
for a YouTube haul or something. I like to open my packages in the afternoon. I actually got this one from White Fox a couple of days ago, which I'm kind of cheating right now because I've already opened the package, but I haven't looked at everything. So I'm gonna do kind of an unboxing for you guys. I'm gonna try everything on and split the screen, which I usually do with my hauls. So as per usual, I'm just gonna plug my code with White Fox as well. It's just Tasha all in capitals, and that'll give you guys 15% off site-wide. First of all, we have this black bodysuit. It's just a high neck, low back bodysuit. Now, if you like you guys already know, I love just basic, nice bodysuits. I got this one in a size extra small. I got it in the black and I also did pick it up in white as well, I believe. Yeah, it's at the bottom. This is what the white one looks like. Literally just the exact same thing. High neck, low back, thong bodysuit. The material is really nice and thick on this one as well. So yeah, you could really just pair these bodysuits with so many different things. I like having a bunch of different basics. Next up, I have this really pretty yellow top. And this one shoulder, one off the shoulder vibe is really in at the moment. I actually have a dress similar, like a mini dress in this kind of style and I love it. I don't know, I just think it looks so flattering and feminine. When I saw this top, I knew that I had to pick it up. It's like a slinky, nice and thick super stretchy material yeah, as you guys know i love anything yellow so i had to pick this one up as well this one i got in a size extra small it's not too cropped as well i think it's a really nice length and there is a little bit of cinching down the bottom here as well and then these shorts could actually match any of the tops that i just showed you guys it's so nice and versatile these nice little dress shorts um they're not linen they feel they feel like in between linen and cotton. They're definitely a really nice material and I love that they have belt loops because this would look so nice with my Kelly belt, which I'm gonna try these tops on with these shorts on underneath. So I might actually put the belt with one of the outfits and show you guys how that looks. I also got this little boob tube top. I'll put it against the white so you guys can see the color difference. It's kind of like a creamy grayish color off white. I got this one in a size small. So I'll try that on with the shorts too and show you guys what it looks like. And then I also got this little crop, little t-shirt crop. What do you call this? Like an acid wash? I don't really have much like this. I'd probably pair this with some black or white trackies. It'd actually be amazing if they could release trackies in this color because that would just be perfect. Little pink tracky shorts. They're so nice. They say WF at the bottom. You guys already know how I feel about White Fox trackies. They are the best. I got these in a size small. I like to pair these with either just a white bodysuit underneath or with the matching hoodie, which I got as well. This is what it looks like. Just a plain hoodie. On the back, it says, I'm glad you're here. And White Fox or WF, I should say. And then the next thing that I picked up is this black dress right here, which this is why I cheated and opened up this package already because I actually already wore this out for dinner the other night. I went for dinner with Tash, James' sister, and my friend Verity. So yeah, I wore this dress and it is just so nice, so flattering. Just a perfect, classy, feminine, but still sexy dress. A slinky, shiny material. The carbs, it's got some mesh detailing at the front here. And it's long with a slit. And then the back is open back. Nice, really flattering. And I got this one in a size extra small. Next thing that I got is another maxi, of course. Are we surprised? I love maxi. This one I actually wore in black when I went to Rome. Loved it. And then I also got it in the white and black. And then they released and all red and you guys already know how i feel about red i love wearing red so much it's just such a pretty color i love the way it looks on my skin i don't know i really love red so this is the dress right here it has lace detailing throughout and it's like a satiny silky material other than that and it's just a v-neck lace detailing nice long maxi this one just looks so nice and flattering on so i love this one i got this one in a size extra small and then i also picked up a matching set top to the set so it's just a you know white knitted jumper that zips down at the front which i think is really nice because it just makes it look super relaxed and then these are the matching pants they do have zips on the sides so you can zip this up if you wanted i probably wouldn't but i mean if you want to be able to see what sneakers you're wearing underneath and you definitely could nice and stretchy knitted pants i got the pants in a size extra small and i got the hoodie in a size extra small slash small i completely forgot that i even got this 
but it is just this boob tube dress. How cute is this? It's black at the top and the poofy part is white. It also has this gel lining or insert inside just so it doesn't slide down. And I got this one in a size extra small. Then the last thing that I got, which is weighing this bag down a lot, is this jacket. I'm probably gonna bring this um, to Melbourne with me next week. I'm gonna unzip it because it kind of looks a bit weird when it's just done up. Black leather jacket. I love how it looks open. I love how floppy and just relaxed it looks. And it's just got fur, fur. It's like that buccal, boucle detailing. I'm actually gonna try it on now and show you guys. Like how cute is this? I just love how floppy the front is. Is that weird? But I love that so much. The inside is all that buccal, boucle fabric as well. So warm, so cute. <laughs> It's definitely too hot on the Gold Coast for this. I got this one in size extra small slash small. But yeah, that's everything that I got from White Fox. The jumpsuit that I'm wearing right now is actually from White Fox as well. It's so nice. I, I may as well show you guys what I got from Priceline today as well. They're having a 50% um, off sale on all their makeup. So I picked up a few things. I may as well show you guys now because I'm going to put everything away anyway. Bro, this is meant to be a night routine and I'm just sitting here talking shit. But the funniest thing happened at Priceline today as well. So at the checkout, you know how they ask for your number if you if you have an account with them or whatever so this girl looks up my phone number and my name obviously pops up the name attached to the account and she goes she's like tashe tashe i don't know how to pronounce it she said how do you pronounce it and i i was so confused because honestly there is not one time in the 23 years that i've been on this planet that anyone anyone has ever pronounced my name that t-a-r-s-h-a so I just kind of looked at her confused because I wasn't sure if she was joking or not. And then when I realized that this girl wasn't joking, I was like, okay, maybe my name's spelled wrong on the computer. I peeked over the counter to see what she was looking at on the computer screen. And my name was spelled completely normal, like completely normal the way it's spelled on the computer. And I was like, I just looked at her and I was thinking, I was still thinking that she was joking. So I just looked at her and I was like, Tasha? I was genuinely so confused. I thought that maybe, you know, whoever made my account with them put an E or a Y at the end of my name accidentally, but I've just never had someone think that my name's pronounced Tasha. I mean, a lot of people think that my name's short for Natasha or Natasha, which it's not. It's literally just Tasha. I've gotten that before. I don't know. I was just so confused. Anyway, I thought I'd show that with you guys. This is meant to be a night routine, but we're just babbling on. Um, but anyways, I got this Real Techniques face brush set. I really wanted a new foundation brush, but the contour brush looks really good. And so did the under eye brush and the concealer brush. So I just got all four. Now it came down to like 20 bucks, which is really good. And then I also got the facial defuzzer set. That was like five bucks. They did a new one of those as well. My Emco Beauty ones are quite old. They actually don't stock Emco in price line, which is weird. I feel like they should. The Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Sophia recommended it. And then lastly, I got this NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker because I've heard really, really good things about it. I wish that they had this in brown. They only had black in store. So I just got the black. But yeah, I've heard really great things about it. I prefer brown eyeliners personally, but this is meant to be really good. So I don't know, maybe I'll like it. But yeah, that's everything that I have to haul for you guys. Now I need to clean up the mess that's on my floor and around me and put all this stuff away. Now is definitely one of my favorite times of the day. It's when I do my skincare routine and I have my shower. This is when I really start to wind down. So I'm going to take off my makeup first and then hop in the shower. And then once I hop out of the shower, that's when I like to put products on my face. I don't know. I feel weird getting into the shower with makeup on or really anything on my face. I don't even like having moisturizer on my face because there's something about the steam. I don't know. I just, I feel weird having anything on my face at all.
now that I'm out of the shower, my face has been double cleansed. All I really like to go in with, and this is only twice a week, is some sort of an exfoliant. Tonight I'm going to be using my Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This has salicylic acid in it. That is all that I like to put on my skin at night time. So obviously when I'm not using this, I literally just double cleanse and that's it. I've always found that with my skin, it always looks so much better the less that I do. Less is definitely more in this instance for me. Letting my skin breathe is super important for me. And even though I'm in full glam in all of my Instagram photos, that's only two, three times out of the week. Every other day, I don't put makeup on my face. And as soon as I'm done getting photos, I take that makeup off. It's time to make dinner now. I'm just making a super chill, super quick dinner. As much as I love cooking for other people, when it comes to myself, I like really simple things. I just like things with a nice marinade or, you know, I basically just like having protein, veggies and carbs. So as much as I like to make extravagant freaking five course meals for other people, for myself, I just like to keep it nice and simple. For dinner tonight, I'm just making these pre-marinated barbecue Tasmanian salmon skewers with honey soy. Then I'm also just gonna cook these potatoes. While all of that is cooking, I'm also just gonna have a banana because I'm hungry. I had some chocolate, but I feel like I need something else before dinner's ready, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put some seasonings in with the potatoes and then chuck them in the air fryer first. Once that's cooked halfway, I'm gonna put in the salmon skewers. Obviously not going to finish this. Whatever I don't finish, I'm going to have for lunch tomorrow. Usually I'll have broccoli or asparagus with my dinner, but there wasn't any at least unfortunately when I went the other day to get all this stuff. So the potatoes will have to do. And there we have it. There's my dinner tonight. things that I do before I go to bed is I like to pick out oh, these need to go in the bin. I like to pick out my gym outfit for the next day. I'm like a zombie first thing in the morning and it just takes my brain so much longer to put together an outfit when I've just woken up. So this saves me about five minutes in the morning. I always get compliments every time I wear this blue set to the gym so I wear that. Hi darling. Just got myself my dessert this evening, dessert of toys. And then I'm just gonna keep reading my new book. Generally, I'll go to bed at like 9.30, 10 ish. Really just depends how much I'm enjoying my book. This is the third book in the Twisted series that I'm reading. I started the first one last Friday, it's Thursday. So I'm onto my third book in a week. I'm only 40 pages in to this one, but 
just not really liking it as much as the first two books. The way that I judge whether a book is actually good or not is if I'm hooked on it. Because if I'm into a book, I'll spend all my free time reading it. I'll read till midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and then wake up early the next morning to finish it. Anyways, you guys, there we have it. There is my night routine. I mean, for people that are watching this that aren't subscribed to me or don't follow me already, you're probably thinking this is the most not aesthetically pleasing video I've ever seen in my life and you're definitely right it's really not aesthetically pleasing whatsoever it's a very realistic night routine I know realistic is different for everybody but this is actually what I do at the end of every day I know it's so boring but I'm gonna keep reading this book now for about another hour who knows maybe I'll end up liking it and I'll change my mind see you in my next video bye